With the Dixie 5 version 9.40, typical based engineering is available. In this video, you will understand the benefits and the basic principle how Dixie 5 supports this engineering principle. The idea of typical based engineering is the following. Let's assume that you have created a bay typical which states on the left side. After finishing the configuration of the typical, you further create four instances of this bay which state on the right side. Up to now, this workflow would have been possible with the copy and paste functionality of Dixie 5. However, let's assume further, now your customer rises a change request for the typical, for example an additional cybersecurity setting and an additional CFC plan. The new typical based engineering function allows you to add these functionalities once in the typical and copy them with only one click to all four instances. To make this possible, a typical child relationship has been implemented in Dixie 5 in the version 9.40. We will show you how to benefit from this new great feature. Create a device for example 7SJ85 as usual in Dixie 5. When you have finished, mark the device as typical device with the new setting. You will be prompted to close all editors. The device will change into write protected mode. The typical devices will be moved into folders, one per typical. Now you are ready to create the instances of the typical. Right click on the typical and then select add child devices. A dialog will show up and request for the number and the names of the instances. In this example, we create four instances of the 7SJ85 device. These four devices will be automatically created in the project navigation view. By the new icons, you can identify which devices are typical and which are instances. The connection between instance or child device to the typical device is also visible in the device information of the child device in Dixie. Let's assume now that a change in the typical is necessary. Because of that, you plan to modify the typical device as required and take over these changes to all child devices. The first step is to create a new version of the typical by clicking on Modify version in the device information settings of the typical device. You will then be informed that a version 2 of the typical has been created. This device with version V2 will be created in the typical folder. It can now be edited as required, and the version 1 of the typical stays right protected as archive. Now add the new CFC in the security setting for role-based access to the version 2 of the 7SJ85 typical device, and then close the edit process with clicking on Apply Changes. You can now use the new typical management editor to manage the update of the child devices with the changes in your typical. This editor gives an overview about the relations between typical and children and about possible upgrades in this example from version V1 to version V2. To run the automatic upgrade, you can select all four child devices, check that the scheduled version is V2 and click on Update Child Devices. You can now check the device information of each of the child devices that is based on version V2 of the typical. The new CFC plan is part of all four instances, and the security settings have been taken over. Final recommendation for application, the typical based engineering is a pure DIGC5 feature, the minimum device version is 7.50. Just upgrade your DIGC5 and you can benefit from this great new feature. No configuration upgrade of the devices is necessary. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to sign up to our Pro Notes newsletter. Especially written for power engineers, it's full of highlights, product news, and tutorials like this one. www.siemens.com pro minus notes. Wish you have fun with the new functionality in Dixie 5.